Me coming to you live from America's, North America's, oldest known petroglyph site, Winnemucca. Now, this is my first time going live, so bear with me. I'm just getting used to the functionality and technology. I have a brand new gimbal that I'm trying to use here, so I'm juggling between the technology and trying to figure out YouTube Live, because I've never done it. Uh, but just wanted to check in, and I figured this would be good practice. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this as well is to remind you that tomorrow I have a new premiere on the channel that is part of my interview series with Yosef Iowan at the chemist shop. This one's gonna be astonishing. You definitely wanna check that out tomorrow, Sunday, 9 a.m. PST. Join us, I will be in the super chat so you can feel free to ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer everything. That series is gonna continue, a few more episodes, and then I'm gonna be getting started with my Ancient America playlist here on the Adept Expeditions YouTube channel. Uh, again, NEXT here at the Winnemucca Petroglyphs. You can see behind me, this is probably the more famous, most popular, uh, symbolic motif that we see recurring when people are here at Winnemucca. Uh, this is again America's oldest known petroglyph site dating back nearly 15,000 years. Think about that now. Uh, the official dating, and this is all recent, this came out in recent studies in 2013 where they determined that this is the oldest site using two methods. There's a third more precise method that could have been used but the local indigenous Paiute, Paiute tribe did not want, the, the tribal council didn't want to do that. It would have required the researchers to take incised, I don't want to touch the glyphs, but to show you, they would have took samples from in between the grooves of the glyphs to get a more precise date, but the Paiute did not want that. And I don't blame them. I'm with the indigenous people on this as we don't want to destroy we don't want to destroy anything here. We want to be good stewards and preserve these artifacts. You know, our ancient history may be important to us, but it's not that important. Our present moment is always the most important, and we need to preserve these structures for future generations. And in the future, future technology, new human thought, new levels of consciousness will allow us to arrive at new conclusions. So. I'm glad they didn't do that. But the two methods they did use, they're pretty solid. And they were able to determine, essentially what it is, they took organic matter, they took algae from the nearby lake bed. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Oh, there we go, okay. So this is Lake Winnemucca, which is a dry basin. Um, sort of a mirage here that's not actually a seabed. That's just where it used to be. Um, I'm facing east, okay, that's the north. This way south, behind me is the west. And actually in this direction, behind me to the southwest would be what's called Pyramid Lake. Um, and so they took algae samples, organic matter, and they also did radiocarbon uh, isotonic um, a process essentially to determine that they were that uh, the glyphs are that age. There's also there's also artifacts that have been discovered in the area that have given consideration to the dating. Prior to this, the oldest known before 2013, the oldest known petroglyph site in Northern America would have been what is it Long Lake in Oregon. Uh, which I'll be visiting next. I haven't been there yet. This is actually my third time visiting Winnemucca. We were here 2017, 18, spent a few days coming here. I came here multiple times in the morning, at night, because the way the sun rises and casts upon the east, and then on the west you get uh, the, the glyphs stand out, uh, and so we can get better observations if we come at different times of the day, you see a little more. And so prior to that, Long Lake, Oregon were the oldest petroglyphs in America, but 2013 they established here at Winnemucca is the, actually the oldest. Very interesting. This is just one of many. Um, I just wanted to check in with this quick update to let you know what I'm up to, to remind you to check out the premiere tomorrow. Um, that's going to be, and, and next week, every Sunday, new videos every Sunday, 9 a.m. PST for my series with Yusuf Oyan in the chemist shop in Egypt and we're soon gonna get started with my ancient America series I have been all over the states I have been to all every state in the United States I've, I'm well traveled I was in the music industry for over 20 years so I've pretty much been everywhere 
and I've always thought to investigate the ancient civilizations and well not really ancient civilizations but the remnants of these ancient cultures I've been to Cahokia two maybe three times I've been to Serpent Mound three times and I'm gonna be going back now that this pandemic and the COVID situation is settled oh thank you so much who is that I have to read it sideways Jenny thank you for that I really appreciate that big up much respect many of you may not know I have a nine-year-old daughter and a sick wife she has autoimmune disease which has really uh, prevented her from working the last two years so it's been very difficult and as you guys can imagine ancient mysteries researchers let's just say the ancient mysteries research thing isn't exactly paying all the bills so it is very difficult to continue doing what I'm doing and that's why little even support like that I pre genuinely appreciate it all five dollars whatever it is it helps it helps us with gas it helps us get to these places it helps me get the technology and just the expenses and costs of doing this. I have put more in, over the last decade or so, I have put more into this than I've received back. I'm not in this for the money. It's much, much deeper than that, but obviously I have to make a living. So if anyone can contribute to my Patreon account, Patreon at NEXT, I totally appreciate it. Whenever you guys give me donations like this, if you wanna help out with, with PayPal, much, much respect. Let's get back to the lecture at hand though. Thank you, Jenny. So. Um, yeah, I have the Ancient America series coming and what's going to happen is I already have all this footage from all these sites. Um, I have drone footage from Serpent Mound that I took back in 2014 or 15, I forget, which been there several times and actually lost my DJI Phantom drone at Serpent Mound. It got stuck in a tree too tall to climb in the winter when there was snow. So um, that was an experience. And I have it all documented. I'll be sharing that with you. But I'm gonna be hitting the road. My wife, Karina uh, eats Kwatle, and my daughter and I are going to be hitting the road, doing a nationwide tour. We're coming everywhere, coast to coast, from California, back to where I'm originally from in the East Coast. And we're gonna be visiting all these sites again, Cahokia, Serpent Mound, Poverty Point, all the mounds in Ohio. There's many mounds in Ohio. We've seen a bunch of them before. It's not just Serpent Mound. We're gonna go through the American Southwest and just bring you to all these amazing sites right here in America. I will, in between, continue to put out videos on ancient Egypt and uh, Mesoamerica. I have a documentary on Gobekli Tepe I'm working on, another one on the Luxor Temple of Man that I'm working on, and a bunch of these smaller videos and interviews with experts that I'll be releasing. So expect a lot from the channel. If you like what I'm doing, please remember to share this with your friends. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I put a lot of, I I've been putting effort into this stuff for years, so I can use your support uh, just sharing and letting other people know about it. But yeah, this is Winnemucca. I am going to be doing a full comprehensive documentary style video, sort of like my Sphinx Explained video and my Bent Pyramid video going over the entire site. We've literally spent all the other trips and then today we've spent hours here filming and discussing everything that's here going into great depth in the symbolism the various theories you know this alone you know some people think it could be evidence for the wheel I'm not saying that's the case certainly the principle is there you have a circular shape with the spokes I tend to think intuitively it's probably representing the Sun there is a whole school of thought that thinks it could be representing solar bursts or plasma uh, many of you may be familiar with thunder Thunderbolts or the electric universe theory. I'm more, I'm leaning more toward, it. I'm, I think it's probably the sun or a flower. This is eerily reminiscent to what we see in, in Mesoamerica with the Maya, with the ear spools and the Mexica, who the academics refer to as the Aztecs. You know, the Maya especially have those ear spools and then their principal, their rain deity or the god of rain. It's the person, if, if you were to take rain and slap a face to it and give it a personification for the Maya in the Yucatan is Cha'ak. So Cha'ak, and, and we don't even know there's that, that's, I'm gonna be doing a video on this. It may be Cha'ak, it may be the Wheats monster. Um, it, it could also be the celestial bird and the point that I'm trying to make is there's a headband and right where the third eye of the pineal, uh, pineal gland would be, we see this symbol. Um, obviously, you guys have probably seen what looks like the wristwatches in, Meso, uh, um, in Mesopotamia, in the Assyrian. So a symbol we see all over. Um, in Ireland, we see it as well. Uh, and so it's a recurring motif. Is it connected? 
Is it part of the same primordial tradition that perhaps influenced the world maybe before these cataclysms or catastrophes, before the Younger Dryas, before the last ice age when, you know, after that and humanity came back and began to reestablish itself? Was there this tradition? It would seem there's just so many similarities. On the other hand, in academia, they would argue that, you know, it was all developed independently. And that's possible too. We have to give consideration to both sides. I think there's just too many coincidences that there are no coincidences, that, that in many cases, these parallels exist for a reason. Uh, they probably do have an original source. And ultimately, they all definitely have a source if you subscribe to the Western esoteric tradition, which teaches us that we are all one part of a source. We are all emanations of that source. We're connected to that source. I will be getting into this stuff as I roll out more videos. I'm going to be going deeper into the esoteric aspects, but as I'm ramping up the channel, as I'm getting more active here on YouTube, I want to start out just giving you, you know, these explorations at a lot of these ancient civilizations. But I just want to let you guys know I'm probably going to be coming to a town near you. I am going to be keeping my distance as I have not been vaccinated yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not yet. Um, I may have to do it. I also have an autoimmune disease and I want to protect myself. Although, you know, I'm not really a fan of of vaccinations, but I want to protect others as well. Uh, it's exactly why I did not run my Egypt trip last year. I know there's two different schools of thought and people want to put politics into it, unfortunately. Ultimately, I'm for humanity and I don't want to get other people sick. I don't want to put people in a position where they could potentially get sick. So I postponed our Egypt trip until this September. That's another way of supporting, by the way. I understand it's a huge investment. Not everyone is in a financial position to do that. But my colleague, master craftsman and renowned engineer. Am I back? Can you guys see me? If anyone is there, give me a shout out in the comments. I think somebody said that I was I'm live. So the fact that I'm responding to you should tell you that I'm live. You can see when I'm in the background, I have no reason to be dishonest. I'm all about transparency. And so I'm most definitely live here today at Winnemucca. Um, maybe jump out. He could start another stream. There he is. I'm back. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Jenny. Yes, I'm live. I'm here. I'm at Winnemucca. As you guys can see, I have no reason to deceive you or, or again, I'm all about transparency. So I'm actually leaving the site now. We're going to go get something to eat. I'm going to meet up with my wife and my daughter who is already back at the vehicle. It is pretty hot here. I stayed behind a little longer to get some more footage. Um, the reason why I was not responding to comments before Okay, this isn't working out too well because I'm connection is going in and out. And the reason why uh, you lost me the last time, actually my phone battery died and I had to recharge it on the gimbal. Yeah, poor signal. That's what it is, Teresa. So I'm gonna cut it short here, but I am going to be giving you a more comprehensive documentary style video on Winnemucca. We're gonna go around the entire uh, Tufa formation and look at all of the glyphs and talk about the various um, theories and and the different glyphs and the symbolism that's here and what it may all mean um, that being said i also want to use it as an introduction to my forthcoming ancient america series but this doesn't mean i'm not going to be still uh uploading videos uh, about egypt and mexico and turkey and ancient sites all over the world i even have some stuff from japan and china from 10 years ago ancient sites I visited that I need to get up. I'm literally sitting on hard drives that are collecting dust that I just need to find the time to edit. Um, and it can be challenging, you know, as a family man, I have a lot of other duties and responsibilities and Whoever that was, I just want to say thank you to. I will see your name later. Sorry I'm not seeing all the comments, guys. Again, I'm just getting used to this, but I'm signing out for now. Uh, join us tomorrow. I'll be in the super chat for my next installment of the interview series with Yusuf Oyan. All right, everybody, this is NEXT signing off. Thank you for joining me. Now, how do I shut this off? I don't even know how to stop from going live. <laughs>